Okay, next topic. Innovation is unrecognizable. It's only in hindsight that we're able to tell what the real inflection points of history were. When I was at Lotus, uh, Alan Kay came and gave a talk, and he is, is, I think, still an Apple fellow, one of the people who was present at the birth of Apple computers. And he talked about Doug Engelbart uh, and his demo at Xerox PARC, P-A-R-C, uh, in the early 1960s. And he was talking about Engelbart in, in general, who has unfortunately passed away now, but at the time he was still very much alive and working. Uh, and uh, Alan Kay said, you know, you can't get on the phone and call up Galileo, you know, or uh, you know, Isaac Newton or Da Vinci or you know, whoever you care to name, but you can call up Doug Engelbart on the phone and talk to him and say, hey, what's going on? Uh, you know, that's one of the interesting things about, you know, this time that we, that we live in. Um, you can still call up Tim Berners-Lee as of, as of this taping, uh, you know, who invented the World Wide Web. But Doug Engelbart invented the graphical user interface, all in one demo that he gave at Xerox Park. It was the mouse, it was the keyboard, it was the screen representation with the icons, the whole thing. The Apple desktop. He came up with it, he just, you know. Uh, and the people at Xerox, Xerox were like, who's going to want this? We, you know, pff, we're not going to put money into this. Uh, but a couple of other people who um, got wind of it, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, well, the rest is history. So it was only looking back at it, and you can see the video of his demo on YouTube, and I recommend you do. It's really quite fascinating. Uh, I had a similar experience recently watching uh, the video for David Bowie's Lazarus um, uh, Black Star video, actually the Black Star video first, and also Lazarus. Uh, I had the same sort of feelings, like, this is unrecognizable. This is something that, you know, we'll be able to uh, understand how we feel about um, some years hence. Um, I think that, um, just parenthetically, I think history, history will write David Bowie's name larger than anybody thinks right now. So since innovation is unrecognizable, if you mean to innovate, you need to strive for the unrecognizable. Um, again, technology helps facilitate this. Um, and we'll talk more about multimedia. I have a particular E equals MC square about multimedia that I think enables a uh, capacity capability for, for innovation that has barely been tapped yet. But let's stick to music. Uh, if you mean to innovate, you need to strive for the unrecognizable. How do you do that, given everything that's happened up to date? And have it be something that people are going to want to listen to that isn't just like painful noise or gibberish or something like that. Well, you have to trust your instincts, you know, your artistic uh, point of view uh, to guide you, you know, where you think is best to, you know, let right action flow through you, 